We are in the middle of creating the Master Business Accounting Software Project in MS Access Programming Step-by-Step, -step, and this is the 31st part of it. You can click on the I button above to start. Complete project is available to download for the paid subscribers with every upgraded version. Activity logs in business accounting software play a crucial role in ensuring transparency, accountability, and security by tracking all user actions, such as logins, sales orders, invoices, purchase orders, POs, payments, and expenses. These logs provide a comprehensive audit trail that helps identify who performs specific actions and when, which is essential for monitoring compliance with internal policies and regulatory standards. By capturing detailed records of user activity, businesses can detect unauthorized access, prevent fraudulent transactions, and quickly resolve discrepancies. Furthermore, activity logs support internal audits, improve operational oversight, and contribute to a more robust control environment, ultimately enhancing the integrity and reliability of financial data. Let's see how to do this. Logging on to the Master Business Accounting Project. This is the Activity Log Navigation button to be made functional. Copy the customer form and rename it as Activity Logs Form. Open the new form and remove any previous code and unnecessary objects. Arrange the labels and select the activity log table as the record source properties of the form. Now bind all the text boxes with the appropriate fields of the table. I am changing the edit icon with an eye for view activity. You can have huge data based on the activities performed by the user, but we will make it available for a certain duration. This is the activity logs table, which we created previously in the second video of our project. You can click on the I button above to watch that video. Copy the print button and change the icon and the name to disable the filter applied in this form.
Before proceeding to the after update event code of the activity dropdown list, the row source of the combo box should be updated with a query. Delete the existing row source values. For this purpose, start creating a new query. Add the activity log table. Add log activity field. Now, select the recently created query as a row source type. It's time for the after update event code. The filter based on the selection is working fine. Move on to the second searching function, search as type text box. This time, click on the on key up event. First, rename the text box.
search as type is working fine. We have to add an error handler to avoid such issues. I have added some random activity types to the table, such as PO, sales order, invoices, and payments. To filter activities based on different duration criteria, three objects are required. A combo box for the duration dropdown and two text boxes to represent the start and end dates. Change the row source type to value and the list. Remove any format or the conditional formatting applied previously. For the main activity form, we need a tab control here, so copy the purchase form and rename it.
Remove any previous code in the form. Remove the forms associated with the tab and rename the main and tab titles. Add our activity log form to the tab. It's time to integrate the main activity form with the activity logs navigation button. That's great. The form has been integrated and is working. Don't miss the next important video in which we will make the duration filter functional along with the analysis like the business analysis with the graphical representation of the activities. Furthermore, every activity can be viewed. We hope you are eagerly waiting for our videos. As you know, it takes time and effort to make each video comprehensive, so stay tuned. See you in the next video.